I was seen as an outsider coming in to the reserve. I was an outsider everywhere. They call it the Red Road. When you start to learn about your indigenous culture. Sego Skeno, Leila Black Young Yats, Anawara, Ni Wagi, Daroden, Ganyak Gehaga. I'm Ganyak Gehaga. I'm Mohawk. I am Mohawk. My papa always said, whoever has the clean water at the end, they're the ones that are going to thrive. Make sure that you figure out a way to get clean water. Just floored reading your resume. What accomplishments you've made in all kinds of different facets of music, programming, um, archives, uh, production, performing. It's just incredible. So why are you switching horses midstream? I had been in the music business, you know, from, I was really young when I was playing with George Clinton and Rod Stewart and all those guys. I mean, I was at high school, right? So I I did it for a long time. And so around 2006, I was mixing an album in Winnipeg, Canada. And I met a woman who came to meet me from APTN television in Canada. And I never heard of the APTN. And she told me about the TV network. And then she just said, you know, if you could do your own TV show, what would you do? And I just had some stupid idea. Like, I'd like to have a show with me and my buddies on and We have a variety show and everyone's on the show. And none of us know what we're doing. It's just chaos. And next thing I know, and this is no lie, she, they call me back and she goes, okay, we're going to do it. And I'm like, <laughs> what? So I, I just went to Winnipeg and I just started making this TV show. And it was kind of a silly show called Arbor Live. But we did three seasons. And during that time, I learned a lot about TV production. And also during that time, I was working – at the same time at American Idol, which was a huge TV show. And at the same time, I was working at the Smithsonian National Museum of the American Indian, creating a exhibit about this small group of Native American musicians that every musician in the world knew and worship, but nobody in the mainstream world knew who they were. And I ended up doing this exhibit there that became huge called uh, Up Where We Belong, uh, Natives in Popular Culture. And then I got done and I turned that into a movie called Rumble, the Indians that Rock the World, which is a music documentary. And then I'm, now I'm fully into creating TV and, and film because I got the bug. I go into television. I don't know anything. And it's exciting because I'm afraid. I'm nervous. And I don't know what I'm doing. And I'm in over my head. And that's the way I prefer to be. And, and I just do it. So, you know, what that, that's what happened. That's how to learn and, and really thrive, I think. I'm a director on this new movie, Boiler Alert. But really, I'm a, I'm a co-director. I wanted to learn more about how to be a director. And so when we went to do Bo Bo Boil Alert, my great friend James Burns, who's a fantastic director, allowed me to come in with him. He wanted me to come in with him for my indigenous side of the whole storytelling part. But I wanted to come in with him to learn faster how to be a great director. And, he, and I worked side by side with him. We talked five times a day. And I, I, I want to fast track learning the way I went from my high school band straight to Rod Stewart's band. I went straight from my high school to play in Madison Square Gardens and Maple Leaf Gardens overnight. And I had to learn fast. Incredible. Congratulations. We're spreading awareness and telling the story of people. And so our story really is about the people. And then you can go research the injustice that's going on. Got it. You, you can be aware of it. We were, we're in the, I feel, and Brian Porter feels, that lack of awareness might be as dangerous to Indigenous people as racism or anything else because most people you think don't like you or you think they're racist but it's not they just have no idea what's really going on Layla Stotts or Stats how does she pronounce it Stats. okay so you have her as the focal point going to these various indigenous sites remote all of which have industrial radioactive or some sort of poisonous element to them dumped yeah. there and her experience seemed traumatic and it is traumatic for the people living there. It was traumatic for her. She caught it. Did you feel tra traumatized in your experiences? I feel traumatized. What happens is with Layla's, you follow Layla's journey and you learn about these other things. And, and you automatically feel like, oh, my God, that's in today's world and a first world country. We don't have to hammer you with it. You get it in this natural way. And that's why the way we told it with Layla following her journey to me was an important way to do it. Oh, it was, it just, it, it was a beautiful way to do it. She was, it was she very was, hard. By 
luminous when she was happy and she was helping people and she was feeling it all. And it, it, she was just a great portal. I sincerely hope that your film goes around the world, that it is seen everywhere and that it has impact and that finally something might be done for some of these sites. Do you, do you share that? Do you, do you think that, that, it'll happen? That's always the goal. You know, we made rumble. And now all of a sudden, Charlie yeah. Patton got in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. This year, Link Ray is going in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. You know, we, we create, Brian Porter and I had seen Red Six Nations. We're in the creating awareness business. That's what we're doing. And Layla and Boil Alert, we expect it to play around the world. We're getting offers all over the world, by the way, right now. And we signed with UTA and uh, Utopia. And uh, we're going to, you know, I, we're, we're getting, we expect this film to do well. We're not expecting it to be a little tiny film. If it is a little tiny film, then sometimes you swing and miss, but we expect it to change people's lives and help, help spread awareness and let pe people then say, you cannot just leave the mercury in the water there because it's a small indigenous community. Or you can't leave, you, you know, Oppenheimer is one of the biggest movies of the year, but we are showing the aftermath of Oppenheimer. Now I'm not putting Oppenheimer down. I, I think he's an amazing human being. And, and incredible what he did. But the aftermath of leaving all that uranium there and then allowing a massive spill to, to leave the whole area radioactive and not nobody doing anything about it, it's, it's just ridiculous. And so- it's stunning. Yeah, and, and it, but it happens all day long. Honestly, that is a, it's a tremendous accomplishment. And I must say, Stevie, it's been wonderful to speak to you. You're very galvanizing. And I'm going to start using your word, expect. Yeah. And do me a favor. Make sure you please give James Burns, the director, top credit. It's directed by James Burns and Stevie Solis. Not Stevie Solis. Right. Right. <laughs> giving me the credit because I'm the shiny object. But you know what? James Burns has taught me so much. And I needed him. And I couldn't, this thing could not be done without James. And I don't want to take his glory because he, he created something so fantastic for indigenous people. Uh, and I want to make sure the world knows that this you isn't all, this is really, a, I had a collaboration is the key to growth for us all. I don't care what color you are. I don't care where you're from. If you're the best, I want to know you. I want to work with you. And, and, and James Burns was just a godsend to help us. Great. Thank you. Have a great day. You and too. good luck at Tap. Yeah, thank you. This is where they dispose of the yeah. uranium. A lot of the Navajos that lived along it are now dead from cancer. That's why you don't hear about it. You don't want to tell us. You have to find out on your own. Water is not just a resource. We are not respecting it. We are not taking care of it. These things were told to me by the elders. Maybe in your time, you'll see this, you'll see that. So I've been watching the earth and the vegetation and the birds, the insects. All of those things are telling me there are strange things happening. It's not like how it used to be. 